What's up, everybody? My name is Marco Dupa. With me, as always, is Adam Obesius Rodriguez and Sports with Dave Romero. We're going to have a good time tonight, ladies and gentlemen. This is the One Bear In Podcast. It's a great album, man. You should check it out. The only reason I bring it up is because it's one of my favorite albums, so I was listening to it today, and it's still just as good. Just as good as it always was. I like... Uh, I'll take it into consideration. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Like uh, Spanish Bombs, I think, the best. Spanish Bombs. Yo te quiero infinito. Yo te quiero. Oh, oh my corazón. <laughs> it's great. Great song. Great album. Uh, can I get a thing thing for my thing thing can I? Oh yeah. So you guys probably have seen did you guys saw everybody going crazy over Red Man and, and the cipher? You no. haven't seen this? No. No you didn't see this? I heard about it. I didn't see it though. I heard about it. <laughs> so uh the, the they had the B T hip hop awards like they do every year and Everybody was protesting, apparently, this is what I was seeing online, people were protesting it saying um, uh, to not watch it because they didn't cover the Million Man March. Oh, yeah, yeah. Only C-SPAN covered the Million Man March. It was the same day, wasn't it? I think it was the day after. Okay. So they were like, yeah. That's not entertainment. Boycott, yeah, right? So I guess I guess their viewership was down like fifty percent, although that's uns- unsubstantiated because I just saw somebody post about it. So I'd have to check the the real numbers on that. But anyway, mm-hmm. so one of the highlights of the evening, basically the only highlight of the evening, was Red Man was part of the um, cipher that they do every year, and apparently he murdered that shit. Oh yeah, killed it. He killed that shit. I listened to it. It's Who else was in it? I don't know. I didn't look up all the other people ciphering. There was a couple of like. Uh, I guess people from overseas. Um, the people who were part of the Def Squad thing was Keith Murray and Eric Sermon and Redman, obviously. Um, but yeah, I don't know who else did it. I mean, they've had way better ciphers previously. I mean, yeah. they had Eminem, Black Thought, and yeah. fucking Most Def together. I remember that. I mean, come on. Yeah. Oh no, Eminem wasn't part of that. He was part of something else. But Black Thought, Most Def. There was another person in that cipher. Yeah, I think they usually have three or four people. Yeah. Who was it? Maybe it was Eminem. Hmm. No, it was Eminem. It was. I think. I think <laughs> okay. I don't remember anymore. <laughs> Clearly established on facts. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just I'm off the top of my head. I don't know. Actually, quick diversion, talking about uh, Def Squad. Yeah. Did you hear about the battle of Keith Murray versus Fredro Starr? Yes, I did. I, I heard about it. Uh, um, the guy that I used to write for, my, my editor. Uh-huh. He was talking about it a lot. I guess he he was able to watch it. I guess he watched the the. I don't know if it was pay per view or if it was just like some stream. Oh, it's probably a stream. But it was uh yeah. Apparently it was disastrous. Mm-hmm. That like Keith Murray sounded like he was high and drunk. Later on, he said he was he he's taking like some prescription or something. Yeah. But yeah, it was like Fredro Star beat like just demolished him and it's fucking Fredro Starr like yeah. if, if I'm gonna pick between Fredro Starr and Keith Murray I'm going Keith Murray every single time so the fact that like he got you would murdered, lost some money yeah right uh. I'm glad I didn't bet on some shit I didn't even know about it until afterward and all this me too stuff come out. Yeah, me too so it was like, like I, I didn't even know you know I quote unquote hip hop stars yeah. were, were doing this like still battling and shit uh, they, I mean they look at battling like it's fucking like it's like a they use it for like charity and shit. Like yeah. you know we'll you know we'll get X amount of dollars and then we'll donate it to like the boys and girls club or something. It's like, motherfucker, ain't nobody gonna be giving you all that kind of money to watch you guys rap at each other. You old men. I mean, people don't even buy your albums anymore. You think they're gonna pay money to to listen to you guys like insult each other? Yeah. Like, I mean, unless it was somebody like that you haven't heard rap for a very long time. Yeah. That you've been waiting for, <clears throat> or that has some kind of prestige to them. Because well, Lupe. Uh, most deaf he put out like an open challenge mm-hmm. on Twitter and then Lupe answered it so they were supposed to do something but who God knows when that's gonna happen most deaf is supposed to be putting out his album for 
God knows how. I mean, these guys don't. The inconsistency, man. Kills yeah. Me. Jay Electronica, he was at some show the other day. Yeah, he's, he's been doing live shows recently. And, and a fan asked him about the album, and he was like, oh, yeah, me and uh, me and my manager was backstage talking about that. He was talking about, I don't know, hitting the delete button or something. It's like, <laughs> don't say that to people, Shut man. Up. God damn it. That's Stop. not funny. I don't want to hear that shit. Because it, that album was supposed to have come out like three years ago. Yeah. I don't want to hear the fact that like it's just sitting on your hard drive and you're like, eh, maybe I'll delete it and start over. If he does that, I'm done. I'm not, I'm just I'm not fucking buying anything from that guy. No Who way. was it? There was a rapper that had his entire album on an iPhone and it got corrupted. <laughs> that's so... That's stupid. Yeah. That's just straight up I forgot dumb. who it was, but it was either a rapper or a songwriter. Had an entire album and uh, uh, yeah, wait so it. so he had he had, I, don't, I don't understand how he couldn't get it back like he he, he recorded it on the iPhone just the lyrics all the files were or, on guess, so okay somebody sent lyrics. him like the masters or whatever yeah. and put it on his phone and for then for some reason that was the only copy wow that is that is beyond um, I can't even fathom they deserved everything just they got. leaving something on my phone <laughs> Like not, or at least immediately backing it up to your computer. Yeah. I cannot even. That sounds like a bad excuse for like not doing your homework. Yeah. Oh man, nah. that is so, so so. Stupid. Could just be a lie. I'm trying to look up who it was, but. Anywho. Well, while you do that, um, what's up, guys? Hmm. Hmm. I'm a little, I'm a little under the weather. If people can hear me with my my baritone, you don't sound like it. Yeah, you don't sound different at all. No. Oh, okay. Like that so I, I, I say I always sound. Disgusting and sick. Yeah, wonderful. You're, you're gross. We hate <laughs> so I don't. I don't know when we're gonna put this out, but um, we all, as a group, got to hit Halloween Horror Nights like we do every year. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. You know, you'll probably see the. Oh wait, we can't do the. We're not gonna. We're not gonna be able to put the the video intro. I guess we could put it on. We the can YouTube put it on there. Just have the yeah. audio. Okay. Yeah. yeah that we makes can put sense. it on there. Um, but yeah. So like every year. So far, tradition. It's been like what three years we've been doing it, three or four years. Now? Uh, yeah, as a group, I think it's been about two or three years. Yeah, something yeah. like that. So, I mean, what'd you fellas think? I mean, we didn't really get to talk about it once. I mean, no, we left and then no, it was no, no. Just like night was over. We that had was it. we had no like post movie talk. Yeah, no. About it. Uh, I mean, as as a com- complete nerd for Halloween Horror Night stuff, I was completely satisfied. Yeah? From my one and only night that I've gone so far, I plan on going next week, too, to nice. catch up on the other ones I didn't get to. But, nice. uh, like, we got to hit the main house, and just from the attractions that we did get to see, because we got to do, like, maybe, what, four houses that first night? Yeah. It's pretty good for, like, a regular night. Yeah. Without a fast pass. Like, it's it's a celebration of the old stuff that I've enjoyed seeing throughout the years and maybe it's playing on my nostalgia a little bit but like I loved it yeah it I worked. really really liked it yeah so um I agree that was fun man hell I mean it was it was you know it was so much walking <laughs> but it always is but I was just like ah it's just it's too much but the houses themselves yeah yeah, yeah, good stuff, man. I wasn't, I wasn't disappointed by anything that we hit. Mm-hmm. I mean, we we hit the top five, probably top four. Yeah, then we got to like most of the ones that we set out to do. Yeah, I can't really think of anything off the top of my head that we like really wanted to see that we didn't get to see that night. No, I don't think we missed any. Um, I guess I was, I was curious about the purge just because of the concept of the movie and how they would translate it. To yeah, the house itself. And last year they had a purge scare zone. That made me interested to see what they would do for like an actual contained house. Yeah. Um, so I'd, I'd just like to see that one and um, Insidious too. Insidious, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the one. Uh, you. Very distracting. <laughs> Keeps flashing. I keep looking at it. I'm going to say something. Uh, I would like uh, it to be scary next time we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shots fired. Oh damn. Oh. Ho, ho. Tell us more, son. Um, you know, I'm just going to repeat what I said last year, so insert that clip <laughs> right here. Um, no, I mean, it's 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 only fun because you go with your friends. Yeah. Um, I honestly don't find it scary. It's, mm. it's you know, the theme is wait in line and then shuffle through a, another line through a haunted house while people do jump scares at you, and that's just not my sort of thing. I thought that some of the sets were cool, like that psycho, uh, psycho scarapy. Yeah. yeah, that was awesome. I think that was what it was. I mean, oh, even without the scares, that was fun. 
I didn't like the beginning because I just I can't deal with that kind of shit. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the old uh, what's it called the tunnel? I thought I was gonna topple over and not be able to move the rest of the night. That's just like, have like, you ever laid down on one of those? No, I would have one at to. Uh, Wonderworks. And when I went with my friend one time, we just laid like they were about to close, so nobody else was coming in. It's the first thing you see, <laughs> and we just laid down on it, and like it feels like you're gonna roll off <laughs> the edge, but That's you, cool. you never do. But it's pretty trippy it's pretty fun yeah. yeah and you don't even you're not even moving right no 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 you don't move that, the that outside crazy. the outside moves around you you just you're going straight that is insane yeah the kind of shit that that just your your perception can do to everything else that's yep. insane yep uh, but go ahead uh, 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 yeah that was pretty cool <laughs> I thought the Freddie Jason one was cool because mm-hmm. they had the house yeah because they had a house and house. some of the dreams yeah those were neat um, but aside from that, you know, I just like getting drunk with you guys and being out. Yay! Yeah. Um, real quick before we continue, let me what run down. Uh, let me run down all the houses this year, <laughs> just so we have a, a reference point. All right, we have The Walking Dead, which is back for a third year now. I think wow. they're going strong with that shit. Uh, Freddy vs. Jason, Insidious, The Purge, <clears throat> An American Werewolf in London, which is back for a second year. Uh, Jack presents 25 years of monsters and mayhem. Woo! Uh, Run, blood, sweat, and fears, because puns. Hmm. Uh, Asylum in Wonderland 3D, which is what we were just talking about, uh, and the Body Collectors recollections, which I think is a throwback house. Okay, so we only missed what three houses? Three, something. Like that, yeah, <laughs> that's not so bad, yeah, especially body. three that like it wasn't really didn't we really went, care about. We anyway. went into the second time. Gav, Vladdy and I went. We went to Body Collectors um, and Run. Blood, sweat, and fears. Uh-huh. But you didn't hit the purge house. Oh, that line's crazy long. Uh, yeah, Jeez. that makes sense. It's that uh, that movie. People cash seem to like that movie, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, what'd you guys think of the? What'd you think of the second house? The, those two houses. Uh, well, because you obviously you're not scared of it, so you can kind of um, analyze the house itself more. Yeah. So what'd you think of the like nah, the actual set? I think we we caught the good ones the first time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. What what were they? They were just like independent things. What were, were they based on? Anything? But I think Body Collectors is, but it just wasn't. You know, I just I don't know. It just wasn't doing anything for me. It's just you walk. I mean, obviously you walk through, and I don't. Know, I don't. I don't remember anything distinctly from mm. it. And that's bad. I think it. it's good to have a point of reference. If you if it's just a house of mm-hmm. just scary shit. Like you, I think you need a little bit more. I think you need a point of reference, like the the twenty fifth anniversary Jack thing. Uh-huh. You're looking for stuff like that. So when the end with the clowns in the end, it's not just clowns, but it's like it's part of the theme and everything, and you yeah. and it's playing on your nostalgia if you've been a couple of times and right. stuff like that. So I think you need a point of reference for it to be really scary. Yeah, uh, and I mean just to be more enjoyable, it's it's good to have that point of reference to. Uh, kind of enjoy the the set pieces themselves because you have that reference point. I remember last year a big hit with all of us was the uh, Alien vs. Predator house. Yeah. yeah. Because you have that in your mind and it's like being in that movie. Right. Which is sort of what Universal's all about to begin with. But uh, actually I think those houses that we didn't hit that David hit that time were actually uh, original houses. Yeah. That are just like based on a horror trope. Right. Or not even horror because Run is based off of like basically um, uh, that Schwarzenegger movie. <laughs> Running uh, Man. Running Man. So did the title escape you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was talking about Commando. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I, I think a lot of the the Horror Nights nerds really look for unique houses like that or mm-hmm. original houses. Um, this year in particular, I think they get a pass because it's supposed to be about nostalgia, and those are sort of callbacks to houses they've had before. Right. Um, but you know, if you look up the forums mm-hmm. and stuff, people are always upset when they see Walking Dead on there again. Yeah, you know, but it's just it's a reality of it because they need the money. I mean, I don't know why people are <laughs> upset by that. I mean, it's 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 zombies, people right? Like zombies. I There's mean, just plenty of other it's... things that they could do with zombies, though. Yeah, maybe. But this is, like I said, it's a point of reference. It's something that everyone can kind of latch onto, and just because, like, there's a lot of people who don't like. The Walking Dead anymore, but there's still you know ten, fifteen million people who watch that shit every week. So that shit ain't going nowhere. Nope. I would yeah. not be surprised if that became like just a thing a that they do every yeah. year. Yeah. What season's that on? It's in season six. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. It sure. has overstayed its welcome. Although I have heard that the the um, season premiere was not bad. Um, I don't know anything about it. I just saw some clips of it. Did you watch it? I didn't. We're in a cableless house, sir. <sighs> Man. Yeah. I'm going to have to look it up hard. online. That's you have the internet. 
hurtful. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look it up online. I, I plan to watch it. I plan to keep along with but this. You guys season, can't watch but. sports, man. We have the internet. Yeah, we can't watch sports. <laughs> You're man. right. We can't because our friend who does have cable won't set up his online streaming. Who's that? Content. It's uh, this dildo named Marco Dupa. Oh. No, I don't know that guy. Yeah, I do know that I was chilling at the house watching the Falcons <laughs> and the Saints. Pretty good game. I got Devontae Freeman on my fantasy team. 27 points. What's that, some sort of fetish? Yeah, mm. it's a freaky fetish where I watch beautiful black men Just run on the double field team you? and mm. score, mm. score over and over again. Score two touchdowns, 100 yards rushing. Hey, Marco, it's good. 56 yards receiving. It's always good. You're really into things that aren't real. <laughs> <laughs> Well, those stats are real. <laughs> those stats are real to me, damn it. <laughs> real to me, damn it. Yeah. Um, but anyway, um, all in all, it was pretty successful. I do um, wanted to ask you, David. Um, are you? Do you like? Are you into uh, horror stuff, or do you watch? Do you like scary movies? Is I just that, don't get scared by anything. And why do you think that is? Because the fucking badass. Do you just I know do it's a like? Movie. So you can't. I can't. Yeah, I can't just disconnect from reality and be like oh, okay i'm watching this because there's always something that loses me like a movie can have me and then you know they'll do do like the classic horror tropes like hello mm-hmm. is anybody here and you're immediately like oh yeah that's right this is a movie unrealistic yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. i can see that that makes sense that's probably what a lot of people are like now and that's i think that's why the horror genre itself has become just like this niche thing where yeah but it's, it's, <laughs> you gotta Especially for something like Halloween Horror Nights, you have to be able to suspend your disbelief. If you're going to enjoy, like, the scary aspect of it, Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because obviously, the people running at you with their fake chainsaws, I recognize one of the people. So, like, (laughs) that immediately go, like, I know you ain't going to do anything. (laughs) You're like three grades under me. I'm not afraid of you. (laughs) Are you still in high school, Marco? (laughs) Yes. That's how I count time. It's grade level. So you have to be able to suspend your disbelief if you're going to get any enjoyment out of it uh, from that aspect of it. But you know, yeah, just just going with you guys is is still fun. Even mm-hmm. like the fucking um, uh, uh, the Bill and Ted shit. Yeah, I mean it's it's fun because we're sit we're all together yeah. and we're laughing at it and stuff. Like if I was by myself watching that, I would have left. There's yeah. no way I would have sat through that whole thing. It was like. It was terrible. Yeah. Like, it's funny, but it's awful. Right. It's yeah. not... It's, it's not funny in, like, a dad joke tough. way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's not so excellent. It, no, not, no, not even. Um, one thing I do enjoy every year that I, we didn't do together this year was uh, whooping all y'all on the MIB ride. Mm. Yeah, I was I was disappointed that we didn't do that. I was disappointed yeah, we should have done that. I'm, I'm ready sad. to get some. I'm sad I didn't beat you guys this year again. Yeah. Mm. You sent me a snap, though. Oh, yeah. Did you see I that? Mean, yeah, I mean, like, what the fuck? It's like the rest of them weren't even on the fucking ride. I, I made them wear a blindfold. <laughs> yeah, that's looked, what it happened. That's what it looked to, like to make them not feel bad. I mean, it was fucking. It was like eighty. I mean, he blew 80, them. Out. Did, did you see that snap? No, I saw that snap. Oh man, three hundred out of the water. Thousand points for yours, oh, truly. Yeah. <laughs> you know what the secret is? Tell me. I'm not gonna tell you. Why? I want to know. Because I'm gonna beat you. Make it even. All right, you got to press the red <clears> button, <throat> and it's a hundred thousand points. Yeah, press the red button. Yeah, yeah. when it, when he tells you press the red button, you know when you're in the car, he goes, "See that red button, slick." Don't touch that red button. And then he goes, press the red button at the end of the movie. That's in the ride, Marco. You've never caught that? I don't know if I have. Oh, man. man. <laughs> I yes. don't. Kind of Orlando, when are you? Well, that's Where's probably it? why I'm always, I'm like always like, why did she squish the more than me? <laughs> no. But still, even with the 100,000, I crushed them. Yeah, you did. You yeah. Did. No, but yeah, there's a part where Zed goes, all right, it's like, press the red button. <laughs> and you press it. And that's at the very end of the ride. Yeah, because their scores were hovering around like the eighty thousands, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So you would have destroyed them regardless. All right. Yeah. All right. I see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you, bitches. Noisy cricket. Let's see you, All right. Bitches. All right. One more thing to go over in Halloween Horror Nights, and that is the scare zones this year. Okay. Um. Oh my God! Get a life out of them. <laughs> well, they're <laughs> usually placed at the front entrance, and uh, <laughs> uh, exactly twenty five spaces <laughs> from Marvel Superhero Island. Yes. Fun fact about Marvel <laughs> Superhero Island. <laughs> um. So they're a little bit different this year, uh, because they have some of those like normal scare zones as we know them, which are just little segments of walkthroughs that have you know a, a theme to them. But then they're also roaming chainsaw people of different ilk. Some of them look like, you know, hillbilly chainsaw people. Other people like the are clown clowns. Yeah, the clowns are awesome. 
Um, what do you guys think about this approach? Because this has been a sticking point for a lot of people uh, as far as like there should always be roaming people or there should always be set, you know, sections for these scare zones. Um, yeah, I like the roaming thing. I'd like them to get a little more ambitious with the chainsaws. Like, can we get two chainsaws on a pipe? What? Two chains pipe. Two chainsaws. Oh. <laughs> a little uh, Dead Rising? Yes. A little I, Dead uh, Rising, a couple dangerous weapons. I want to see it all. I know that... I know that... Um, I just came up with an idea, I think, maybe. No. <laughs> wow. Well, wait, I was wait, thinking... Wait, like, you don't know if you had an idea? No, no, no. Shut up. Because <laughs> um, I, I, I've, always, I've always wished that they would get more ambitious as far as, like, what they could do. And I know that in years past, it's gotten worse and worse because people are so physical and like you know people get drunk and then they they haul off and punch the scare actor or some yeah. crazy shit like that so it's 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 gotten harder and harder and they've made it but i think that the way to make it scarier is to make people feel like you know there's more of a danger like there was i was reading about some haunted house somewhere where like you you I don't know if you sign a release, but that was my idea is to sign a release, yeah. some kind of waiver form. But in the house, you could be separated from your group mm-hmm. and then they, they could like hold you for hours in the house. They do that in New Orleans. Yeah. There's a house in New Orleans. Maybe that's what I'm talking about. You sign about. the waiver, you they can they can touch you, they can hold you for up to five hours. Yeah, I think that's what I'm talking and about. And apparently it's terrifying. Yeah, yeah, well that's what I'm saying. If you want something like this, you don't even have to go that far, but like when Lottie and by the way, Lottie's performance was Oscar worthy. Oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> it was in, incredible. Yeah. Scream Queen. Yep. Scream Queen. Uh yes. <laughs> Twenty fifteen. Um, if say when she ran into um the Krusty Burger and the guy chased after her inside the restaurant. And the like clown with a chainsaw. Yeah, and he just wouldn't leave, leave her alone. Like that would have been that would have been enough for her to pee her pants. Like if it was just like all over her, just chasing her around the yeah. thing, or or <clears throat> like the guy who was waiting outside, and then everybody's like, "Oh, you can't come in," and then he starts walking in slowly. That would have been amazing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like just a, a little bit more. Like, um, we're waiting in line. Why can't one of them kind of, like, walk up and fuck with us while we're in line? Or um, in the bathrooms, they should have a guy waiting in one of the stalls. The guy opens <laughs> it up, and boom, there's a guy just waiting in there. That'd be incredible. Well, you got people pooping their pants, though. Yes. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you see and shit everywhere, Marco. Yeah. <laughs> you no, just... but that would be cool if you're in the bathroom using a, a urinal, and a clown just walks up right next to you. And right. And he's like, honka, honka. Right. Right. <laughs> I mean, it would be you know it'd be good like, and, and that's why I say sign the release or the waiver or whatever. Right, right, so right. That he's got he's got a big horn, and then he looks down, pulls out a little horn. He goes, "My God!" <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't know yeah. if I'm signing relief for somebody to talk shit about my dude. Yeah, well, but anyway, that's I wish that they would do that. I wish that they would. I wish that they were able to cross that line a little bit. And I know that I think in order to for for them to have like a, a sense of danger. First, they have to keep this very under wraps. Then they have to hire actors for them to grab. So you could be walking in a crowd, and anybody in the crowd, you don't know if he's an actor, but a clown oh, grabs, would be amazing. Him, yeah. grabs him and drags just, him just into the Just have like a, a, a plant, and yeah. then just grab him, snatch him into the yeah. thing, and everyone's like, holy shit, they're grabbing people now? Yeah. They, yeah, that would be amazing. Uh, you know, they actually they used to do that in like uh, shows they'd have on the side of the streets. They actually had a little bit of that in that one scare zone with the, that looks like a little town that's in Halloween mode. Uh, that like there are people on stages like cutting people's heads oh, off and right. stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. They would grab, <clears throat> I'm using air quotes, people from the audience and do that stuff. Yeah, know? I remember that. So and, and they're actually doing it this year too. Oh, uh, that, I that's that. that's what's going on uh, in those streets. <laughs> I, know that. I didn't know. That. Oh, I didn't know that part. <laughs> I didn't know that. Um, but. That that all is a good idea, and actually, Lottie and I, a uh, couple nights after Horror Nights, actually sat outside and talked about it for a little bit, uh-huh. and she had that same thought of, like, I, I wish there was some sort of, like... No, she doesn't. <laughs> yeah, no, she, she, not, says she, not, that, she, she says, says that. She says that in theory, but she has <laughs> yeah. not wished this at all. But she was saying, she had the idea of having, um, where, you know how they have it nowadays with tickets, you have a ticket amount for your group. And they give you a certain amount, and you uh, are able to go into the house based on that amount of people. If they were to cut off your groups by like maybe groups of five to ten, uh-huh. and stop the lines for maybe a minute, and just give you a little more padding, right? And let it, you it'd, be, of... it'd be much more immersive. And that's a good idea. But, but the fact of the matter is, 
There's with lines, lines that are yeah. already reaching two hours right now, anything else is going to make that. I got it. I got it. You can make more than one house. But what? what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> right. Um. But yeah, so for those more immersive experiences, you're going to need to go to like a specialty extreme horror house. That's what yeah. they call it. That you have to sign a release and they can touch you and et cetera, et cetera. But. Well, all in all, it was good. Um, I would say four out of five. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, after going for just for one day, four out of five. Yeah, yeah. we got the fear passes, so I'll say yeah. five out of six since this is the one beer and podcast. Right, right. Of course, of course, yeah. of course. Um, speaking of touching... Speaking mm. of touching. Nintendo's next console. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. It's I, called the Wii U Touch. <laughs> we will touch. No, Nintendo. You? Yeah, shifting gears, <laughs> maintaining the beers. Right. Mm. Sadly. Oh. Why? Because we always switch gears, switch beers. Yeah, yeah we, we don't have another beer to, yeah. to switch to. Damn. Or do we? I don't think we do. I can go look. No, if you're you... right. All right. Well, the ciders are in there. Oh. The what? We. I have a passion fruit cider. Do you have three of them? I have two. Oh, come on. Don't That's it? That. Mm-hmm. Eh, fuck it. Don't hurt my heart. Um, yeah, Nintendo's next console is... Uh, the Nintendo NX. NX. Being yes. the front runners of trying something different, as they usually are, came out with the mm-hmm. motion, motion sensors for Wii, the little game pad with the monitor in it for the Wii U. Revolutionary. Yes. Um, eh. Now we're going to make a handheld console, which has the full power of a console. Well, it's called the Game Boy. That's what I always thought the Wii U was until I got it and realized it wasn't that. Then you realized it was a stopgap. So you weren't an informed consumer? No, I don't think. No, I was. Before I bought it, I knew what it was. But when I first heard about the Wii U, I thought, oh. That's cool. They put the Wii into a handheld device, which looks like the Sega uh, Game Gear. Yeah. Game Gear. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it does. I thought it was that. Six batteries up in that bitch. <laughs> um, but sadly, it wasn't. When I when somebody I was uh, I don't remember who it was, but they were like I tried to walk it out of my house you just to, <laughs> and I was like that didn't work. I yeah. was I was really upset. So now the fact that this is happening, yeah. I'm excited. So uh, tell me more. I'm not sure how they're even gonna do it. What do you mean? Because to have something that's a full console that's handheld, you need a big ass battery. You need some sort of cooling mechanism. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it's just gonna get hot as fuck. Right. And then you'll have to have some sort of I don't know something to. Well, what what is the difference between that and like a and the Vita? I mean, the Vita is Vita's, basically the Vita is not a full on console. You can't put the Vita onto a TV screen. That's what they're intending. To right. Do Plus, this. Vita is also. Um, Intended to be a streaming device as well, mm. so there's a little less so hardware like that goes NX into that. NX is going to have actual game Full on like, the hardware. It's all you need right there in your handheld. From what they've said, we don't know for sure yet. Yeah, it's supposed to be a Wii U in your hand, just okay. like Wii U was supposed to. Even be. even more right. even more advanced though, they're saying that they have some quote unquote revolutionary chips in that device that will allow you to you know things that are on par, if not even surpassing the current technology in video game systems. Right. Aliens. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's that sounds amazing. I'm excited. Uh, but I'd like to know more about, it, more about it. Are you tempering your expectations based on how the Wii U turned out? Uh, I'm happy with the Wii U. I don't know if people are unhappy with the Wii U, but... I Sales mean, indicate that people are unhappy with the Wii U. I mean, I, I think... What? what? What does sales have to do with it? How many Wii U's are you buying because you're happy with it? Well, no, I mean, there's there's, there's, a, there's credibility you're in talking that. about games? No. The no, actual no, no. console itself. The console they itself. They got games. Oh, they got games. Oh, oh, they got games. They got games. They got games. But the problem is the Wii U and Nintendo in general only basically has their first party games, and that's been a big problem for Nintendo I, in general. Yeah, I think that's... that is the that's, I mean, that's really the turnoff. But is the now only they're, reason. they're allowing... Third party mm-hmm. indie software is to, to come in and, and do stuff. Yeah, like Shovel Knight. It's, uh, like, it's Shovel Knight, uh, affordable <clears throat> space adventures who mm-hmm. take advantage of the gamepad. Have you ever played that? Yeah, Maybe somebody has to. Nobody um, else is taking advantage of that gamepad. Right. Yeah. I mean, the Star Fox game is supposed to. Which yeah. got delayed. Mm. Why are you sad? Why are you they're going to come out with Fatal Frame. Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, right. Yeah. I, I've heard good things. 
You hear yeah. a lot of things out of him. Yeah, yeah. He's, about it. he's got his ear to the to the streets of this mm-hmm. kind of stuff, yeah. man. Um, the Japanese streets is watching. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I was I was happy with the Wii U. I guess, like you said, sales are indicating that people aren't. But that I think that has to do with just the fact that like, like Nintendo is is again. It's like it's it's own thing. I mean, yeah. we were we were, dis- <clears throat> we were discussing uh, off camera the competition between Xbox and PlayStation Four. Mm-hmm. I don't think that Nintendo is even looked at in that competition anymore. Like back in the day, the Wii was your alternative to the. Uh, I guess the big corporate uh, yeah. consoles, but now yeah. I don't think it is. I think it's just something you get. I think it's just a fun thing to have on the yeah, side. It is. Yeah. It's not like it's. There are no games on the Wii, granted, that you can keep going back <laughs> to and playing. Like they have uh, what Smash Bros, Mario, Mario Maker now, which is great. Yeah. Mario Kart. Uh, they're gonna have Yoshi. They have Kirby's, um, and now they're putting on the Indies. But I think that's what makes it and Zelda, and mm-hmm. that's what makes it. Um, you know, so. That's what makes the Wii U. Mm-hmm. You can't play those games anywhere else, but when they mm-hmm. do come out, you want to play them. Oh yeah, you need yeah. to play them. Yeah, that's what pushed me over there just to get it. it was- <clears throat> but it's just it's just the the fact that the bigger consoles, you know, they get the AAA games and they get you know the the huge blockbuster games and like Nintendo, they have they have kind of like nestled into their comfort zone and they're just like we're just gonna keep churning out this shit because people love this and I think it's because they're afraid of another Mario Brothers movie mm. yeah afraid of, of getting on that level again no maybe? just having something fail so horribly yeah they're very restrictive with their brands yeah. they yeah. hold their babies close yeah. yeah I mean that's not that's not the way to I mean I read somewhere that like Nintendo has made so much money that they could I mean, they could just not release anything for years and still have yeah. like millions of dollars. They're not going bankrupt anytime soon. Right. They're not Sega. So, <clears throat> oh, say, I, I mean, I didn't even mean it like that, Sega. I'm sorry. Um, in that in that regard, shouldn't they take more risks? I mean, I think that they feel they like are. they are. They are with the hardware they have. They always take risks on hardware, risk. but not with software. With you, you doofus. That's the thing. You they, dummy. They take risks in certain what aspects. Are you, any- <laughs> but they don't take risks Brock? when they need Ultimate to. Ultimate Warrior. How long can we keep this going? <laughs> you're like you're wearing a chest, or I'll slap you in it. Wearing a chest, <laughs> <laughs> or I'll slap you in the shirt. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> lucky you're wearing a chest, or I'd slap you in the shirt. I don't. Th- <laughs> I don't think. I mean, yeah, they they have taken a risk with the hardware itself. You're right, but. First of all, it really hasn't paid dividends recently. Second of all, with the games, I don't think they're taking any risks with the software. No, I don't think so. I mean, they're just they've rested on the laurels of Mario games and things of that nature because they're so good. I mean, yeah, they the are. Pokemon. But it's like why, you know, they don't have to put themselves out there. They don't have to try, but it's like when you're in a position where you can, why not? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like with the with the YouTube gaming stuff, the fact that they like they charge out of the ass and they restrict guys from like reviewing their games and stuff and all this. And it's like, uh, why, why, why do you do? Why is 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 it set up? In Super in Mario such Brothers, a way? the movie, man. But right, maybe maybe it all goes back to that one thing. They are so afraid from one mishap. Never again, John Leguizamo. I mean, get, get away. <laughs> never again. What are you doing? Bob Hoskins, rest in peace. Never again. Benny Blanco from the Bronx. I mean that's yeah maybe it's I mean Do you I remember? just I can't imagine that one thing like that could could but maybe yeah maybe that's that's all it takes. What do you mean you can't imagine? Have you seen the movie? I have seen the movie. I actually watched it again recently because it came on TV. I don't know why it came on TV, but I watched it again, and uh, it's uh, it's pretty bad. Yeah, it is pretty pretty bad. I haven't mm-hmm. watched a bad movie in a while. Mm. Yeah, we need to. We I think, need to get we, another I one think we have a show. We need about another that. Uh, one reel in that we got. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah. I'd sure like to host yeah, some sure. stuff. Yeah, you want to host some things? No. <laughs> this guy, he thinks he's, he thinks he's gonna <laughs> host stuff. I'm taking over one reel in. Also, no, you're I'd not. sure like never to watch. Do that. I'd sure like to watch a bad movie three times to carry the show on my back again. Uh, yeah. yeah, you carried the fucking show. Guys. Yeah. Whatever. Let's run through some gaming news, shall we, gentlemen? All right. Uh, let's see. Budweiser marriages with Miller. That is not gaming oh, news. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Battlefront. We all got to play it. Did you, Mark? I did. did I played you? it. 
I played it. You sure? Yeah. Yeah, it has a Star Wars in it. Yeah. <laughs> it is the Star Wars and stuff. Man. Beat me up, Scotty. <laughs> I played it a little bit. I got to I got to play about an hour of it. Okay. Um and I had fun. What'd you guys think? I also had fun. Very simple. Very simple first person shooter, or mm-hmm. third person if you choose it to be. Um but yeah, I, I like the fundamentals. I mean the just the, the game itself, the way uh the music and the visuals come together it's unparalleled for a star wars game in my opinion it just it looks and sounds fucking beautiful yeah uh i'm i'm hoping that as it is just a beta that the scope which i felt was very limited in some of the maps that i played yeah i hope that that is just because it is a beta and they're um, like would you think that that's the thing mm-hmm, mm-hmm. i would be really disappointed if some of those maps were just because it's a that. very old school shootery feeling <clears throat> game <throat> where there is no no down the sight it's just scope and then that's not a scope or it's it's a uh, crosshairs and then zoom that's mm-hmm. not a scope Right, um, and that's what a lot of old school games like Unreal Tournament mm. had. That's like what it reminded me the most of. Lightning just, Gun, bro. Yeah, that was a cool game. Mm-hmm. Um, just not needing to have to go down the scope, and because of that, when it was I was playing it on my PC Master Race, and I used the mouse and keyboard because I couldn't play with the controller because it wasn't the the reflex wasn't aim or get them in the sights, aim, shoot. It was aim, shoot. Yeah, I uh, I made the mistake of thinking that that's how it was for a while, mm-hmm. and I was just like, I'm not. If I'm I don't, dying. If I don't get the drop on somebody, yeah. I'm getting ripped apart. Did you? You didn't get to rank five. When you get to rank five, you get a a light machine or a light machine laser. Sure, blaster maybe. A machine blaster. There we go. Um, and good one. An <laughs> LMB, if you will. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's just crazy OP, and it's so much fun to use. Yeah. You, don't even, it, you don't even have to aim it. They were saying that the Empire <laughs> itself was yeah. OP. <laughs> really? They have to yeah. go back in and, like... As it know, should be. have to nerf them a little bit. <laughs> I mean, honestly, though... Especially when, they were, when they were saying that, rebels lose. People were yeah. like, "Oh man, spoilers!" It's it's you know it's it's kind of messed up. Yeah, <laughs> and spoilers for a uh, movie made in the sixties, seventies. The first one was late sixties, seventy-seven. Mm. The first one wasn't seventy-seven, was it? Holy shit, I fucked that up. I think it was. Yeah, it was seventy-seven. Seventy-seven. Wasn't it? Fucking nerd. Uh, okay. Huh? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, they should be. I mean, I guess in. Uh, PvP, mm-hmm. it shouldn't be. It right. should be balanced. Yeah, but in story mode, yeah, you should you should be getting your ass handed to you. Ain't no story. Ain't mode. no story mode around here, boy. If you're playing as the rebels, no, you should easily breeze through it because stormtroopers can't hit shit. Nah. Mm. Yeah, I guess you should never. Even if you have them right in your sights, it should. <laughs> stay- <laughs> you ever seen the video of uh, the guy playing uh, uh, missions mode on Tatooine, and he just walks right up. To a stormtrooper, and he's just like, pew, 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 and he doesn't hit him yeah. at all. Like he's point blank. He, That's stormtrooper awesome. just did not hit land a shot. I never got to see anybody do like a super with like Vader or anything. You didn't even see not not in game. I, I saw videos, gifs, and stuff, but I didn't it's see in game. Cool. I was able to actually pick one up. It, I really like the way that they do that now, and uh, especially with the vehicles and everything. Because you know, in like Battlefield, if you wanted the helicopter, all you had to do was just camp and wait for it or just sit in like the spawn select and then you would select the helicopter yeah this one you just randomly generate on the on the battlefield <clears throat> if you don't want it you run by it if you want it you grab it and i think that's key that keeps everybody in the action because there's no need to wait and then it lets everybody get a chance to try everything yeah speaking of battlefield battlefield 4 is only 40 bucks standard edition just in case anyone was wondering the gold edition mm. with all the stuff all the DLC and everything Which that is that the is one worth getting. Though. That's yeah. that's the one that's full price. Yeah, but okay. the standard one is only forty bucks. So just throwing that out there. Hard lines on EA Vault now, and that's only six seven months old. Yeah, that is that doesn't even make any sense to put a game like that in a vault. It does because it's unsuccessful. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably what. That's disappointing what that's because saying. I love that concept. Yeah, but, well, it was executed incorrectly in the wrong game. You should have started up a new IP, Marco, and you're wrong about everything. Okay, cool. Bye. Uh, <laughs> so, let's move right along. Uh, let's see. Destiny. I just walked in on you playing it. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> um, it looked good. Yeah. What do you think, man? You just got the Taken King and all that stuff? Yeah, you just I mean, you only had it for like five minutes, so... Yeah, I literally just got it. I, oh, Batam, by the way, I got the Taken King. Oh, Batum. really? Batam, <laughs> he's got the Taken King. Batam. 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 Um, 
Fuck bitches. From the last time I played it and the last time you probably played it and the last time Adam probably played it, uh, a lot has changed. When is the last time you played it? Probably since the last time you played it. Wow. Yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> Man. It's disappointing. No. Um, I will tell you this, though. Yesterday I was level 31, <clears throat> and today I am 35, working on 36. So you level up much differently now. Mm-hmm. Now they um, they kind of put a level cap on the... Not a level cap. They put a level re- requirement on the equipment itself. So now it's it makes more sense. Like a level floor. Right. Yeah. What? Like, cause you can't go below a certain one. It, ha- it has to be up, right? Whereas it's, it kind of forces you to play the story because I, I guess by the end of the story you'll be level forty, right? Um, and then you'll be able to use the armor and then be able to do the raids and the strikes. <clears throat> well, what's the new level cap as far as forty one? Oh, okay. Yeah, and then like you said, if you start the game over, you automatically are level twenty five. Yeah, you get the so you're really spark. only going like what twenty levels. Mm-hmm. Or, or, or 15, 16? Yeah, but, I mean, I was playing Crucible for maybe like an hour and a half, maybe. Yeah, and you already leveled up like three or I, four. Yeah, I leveled up like three times. So that's good. I let it's you level up faster. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, when when, you, when we first got the game, it yeah, was it a forever. fucking shrug. It was oh, a grind. Yeah. 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 Which, I mean, honestly, but if they kept it that way, I, was, I like that grind. It's funny because they kind of trick you. Because now they do... Um, yeah, you could be level 40, but if you're light level... Your light average is too low. You're still weak as fuck. Yeah. So you can be level forty all you want, Marco Dupa. Uh-huh. But if you don't level up those weapons, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So well, if like, you just punch people, that's no, part does. of your attack, part of your light. Damn. <clears throat> but I mean, it's it's a little complicated because the cumulative attack that you do on enemies is proportionate to your level. So if someone's like five levels below you and you have less attack but they have a higher attack than you, mm-hmm. then it, it cancels everything out. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Oh, you need my finger for that. Oh, God damn it! It's trying to be subtle. <laughs> well, anyway. Yeah. So, uh, you still have Destiny, but you don't have any of the DLC, right? No, I never bought any of the and DLC. You're not planning on. Well, it, it puts me in opposition because I would like, like, now that I've seen that it's a bit more accessible and it seems a bit more fulfilling to play a session every night, yeah. I would like to get back into it, but they've put me at a disadvantage because if I just buy the accumulated DLC, I might as well just get the entire new package. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So. so, I mean, like, I bought this full game for $60 <laughs> at launch, enjoyed it for maybe six months or so. And now it's nothing. Now it's thrown in the garbage. No, yeah, it's basically it basically means nothing for to me you. to rebuy the same game, but with more stuff yeah. and refined. As That's that. The yeah, the way that they been. went about that, I'm still yeah. disappointed in that. Yeah, I see from Adam's point of view, it, he got the short end of the stick yeah. the most. Yeah. Where you kind of just went. Mm, yeah, I got actually money. no, because you, you didn't get actually. No, you're both in the same boat. <clears throat> yeah, not really. Because I turned mine in and got 30 bucks for it. So I'm basically that's, that's spending true. $30 on the new Destiny because yeah. I got my money back. Okay, right. That's right. true. That's true. So you should just do that. Uh, I'm sure they're not going to take it for as much as they took yours. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, you should have, you, uh, you know, you should have been on it, son. I should have. <laughs> I, I, here, here I am <laughs> being, you know, loyal to Destiny thinking nah, one day I'm going to pick that. it back up. Fuck Bungie. Fuck Destiny, bruh. And well, now they're like, fuck Bungie, they're I don't the know. Most, they're the most. Community active developer. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah, because they gotta be. They don't got Halo no more. Mm. So they gotta be talking. <laughs> they, they made Halo, so was that was that like mortars? That was, that, that was, <laughs> that was, that was <laughs> your shots fired, but it was like that was Funk Master Flex. That, that was my new Sunbreaker <laughs> bomb special. Oh, uh, yeah. Shut up, nerd. What? 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 You? Um, Did you write that DeLorean down? DeLorean and Rocket League now, or not now? We're gonna be coming out. That's exciting. Yes. Isn't that fun? Isn't that yeah. funny? We haven't played Rocket League in a while. Yeah, I know. So I want to get You haven't played Rocket League in oh. a while. I play that shit probably every other night. Okay. I nice. love Rocket League. You better now? <laughs> Fuck oh. y'all. I'm better than oh. everybody in this house. Bet. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Bet. Oh. Bet. Looks well, like we're going to have a showdown in a little bit. Bet. How much? The money I owe you. <laughs> we're gonna get it anyway. <laughs> you were gonna get it at some so point. Double or nothing. You know, it's a lifelong dream here. <laughs> double or nothing. Okay. Okay. Can nah, I don't want to do that. Oh, because uh-huh. <laughs> yep. that's like seventy dollars. That is seventy dollars. I don't want to do that. You can math. Yep. Anyway. Yep. 
like you said, DeLorean. DeLorean, That's which is cool. cool. Yeah. Um, what other cars would you guys like to see in a, in a Rocket League? It's famous or not famous? I know you're going to say uh, Eleanor. Eleanor would be, be cool. Eleanor. Yeah, it would be cool. Um, they are not shy with putting like stuff like that in the game, like Twisted Metal. They had the yeah, the, the uh, Sweet Tooth. Yeah, and then now this. I'd like to see a Bigfoot monster truck. Mm. That'd be really cool. Yeah, Grave yeah. Digger. That's a good choice. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. Yeah. Ah, okay. Right. Oh, um, the fucking uh, mobile dog from yes, Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber. Yeah, yes. that's good. That's a good one. I like that. Night yep. Rider. Yeah. Yeah, there Kit. Yeah, mm-hmm. Kit. That yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, this kind oh, of game, uh, the, the possibilities are endless, man. Optimus Prime. I was just going to say that. That's good. That's good. I like that. Mm-hmm. I like that. Turns to a completely different game, and you just get mechs. <laughs> and they're just throwing it. <laughs> no, it's just, it's full mechs. It turns into FIFA. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what a it's game that would be. Right under our nose the entire time. Wow. Uh, hmm. Trying to think, what else? A 1988 Honda Civic. <laughs> true, I know. Anything yes. Fast and Furious? The Lancer. Oh, the yeah. Charger. Yeah. Dom's Charger. Yeah. The Lancer from yeah. Tokyo Drift. No, um, Brian's Lancer. Doesn't he, he drive his Lancer? Right? Skyline. Oh, it's a Skyline. Oh, he has a Lancer in Part Two. Oh, that disgusting thing. Too fast. Oh. Too furious. Yeah. It wasn't even Evolution. <laughs> it wasn't yeah. even an evolution. Why did they even put it in there then? Because they got money from Mitsubishi. Yeah. Why didn't Mitsubishi just give them a Lancer? Because they didn't. They didn't have an evolution yet. <laughs> For that version? Yeah. No, they didn't. Jesus. They came out a little bit later. Oh, that's right. It went from like they, eight to ten. They had what basically was a mirage. Remember that one mirage we saw that was all tricked out? Oh of yeah. Life because he thought it was an Evo, and then you're like, it is a mirage. Yeah, it's a mirage. Because. It, not actually an Evo. Right. Yeah. It's Got a it. Shitty little car. Yeah. Cool. Car talk. Cool. Uh, anyway. Car talk with uh, David Adam. Uh, what Moving right question? along. Yeah, I have a question. <laughs> I did have a question. So I was listening to Giant Bombcast, which we can bleep out because we won't give anybody any of our ad- advertisement time yeah, that, that is very, uh, you know, valuable. Mm hmm. To these listeners. Um, but they were talking about uh, the new. Um, Assassin's Creed game coming out and how they're basically like, eh. And I feel like that's generally the consensus of the new Assassin's Creed games since uh, 4. Yeah. Right? Black Flag. Black Flag. Black Flag. Really enjoyed that. Amazing game. Um, But everything else kind of has me at meh. So, uh, Watch Dogs I got to play a little bit of. Never beat it. But... Don't you have it? I do have it. I haven't beaten it though, and I don't really plan on it anytime soon because I have Metal Gear. But God, Jesus. That being said, that being said, Can't do um, anything like Metal Gear. my question is: if you, Push through. if there's this world, all right, imagine with me, uh, okay, uh, in which there can either be Assassin's Creed as continuing of a franchise that it is, or suck my dick. Watch Dogs. Yeah. Wow. Which one do you choose? Do you choose the Assassin's Creed franchise, which has had its good moments in the past, seems to be kind of wavering, but you never know, or something that is pretty new, didn't have a good start, but neither did Assassin's Creed. I want you to remember that. Uh Watch Dogs 2 (laughs) could be something... I have my answer already. Watch Dogs 2 could be something big. And I'm just saying, take into account the unexpected. Okay. Go. Okay, you want to start? I'm going to go Watch Dogs. Okay. Not surprised. Uh, that was me doing the jacking off thing, man. <laughs> Just kidding, man. You're lucky you're wearing a chest. Do it. Fucking go. Uh. Smack my shirt off. <laughs> um, Watch Dogs, because they did a lot of innovative things. The gameplay was kind of... Uh, and they had some mistakes on the driving. But... Fucking worst driving ever! All right, yeah, it was the Very worst passionate. driving ever. God. Um, but... With that said, they can learn from their mistakes. And I think Assassin's Creed's had their run, and they showed that they were just out to grab money, even though it's from the same uh, company, yeah. uh, that they just wanted a, a quick money grab when they put out Unity. Um, and yeah, Unity. I, think, I think the potential that they could have done with Assassin's Creed has been squandered, and now they can use that effort into Watch Dogs, because that multiplayer stuff was really cool. Yeah. 
All right, I will be the contrarian and <clears throat> say that I would like more Assassin's Creed, hmm. and I will say why. Do because it. I just I feel like um, if they can get back on track, that there is still a lot of potential there. There is still um, a lot of things that uh, uh, fans have been asking for, such as ninjas and or samurais, things yes. of that ilk. Um, so I think that there is still many, many chances, and, and there is still much content in that well that they are not exploring and that they can, mm -hmm. and I would be more interested in that, off of the strength of how good Black Flag is. Yeah. They put all of their uh, all of their strength and resources into how good Black Flag is. I love Black Flag. That's why I haven't given it back to you. <laughs> because I love it. It's yeah. it's amazing. It's such a great game. I mean, it is is definitively like if 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 you, somebody said uh, I want to play a video game. You know, when people have like these these uh these uh, hypothetical like what if there was a game with like pirates or something, right, bro? That's it. That's the <laughs> fucking game. It's the Who's, game. Who says that? All the people. Bros. Shut your face. <laughs> anyway, I think that I would agree with you in that they have in recent games squandered the good the goodwill from Assassin's Creed 4 and that it did seem like a money grab with the stuff that they've done recently, but there's still potential there for an amazing new Assassin's Creed game. Mm. I would like for them to... To just drop the um, the like going like like living the the ancestors concept the, and the, just, the animus right thing. just drop that and just go just explore the story itself whatever like generation you're trying to explore but I guess that's what makes Assassin's Creed Assassin's Creed is that yeah. whole uh, concept they've kind of dropped that though they have I mean especially in, in, in Black Flag it was mm -hmm. you were just basically a tester for yeah. like a program or whatever you're you playing a video game <laughs> right but I don't like that meta-ness of it I just want to just play that yeah kind of takes you out of because, it but yeah, because to, then to bring that up what's the significance of the story then right right it's it, already it happened it's already happened and every single Every single part where you were you in that company yeah. sucked. Oh, yeah. It was the worst. You're just walking around doing er errands for some guy right. who's being a jerk to you, and you're just sitting there like, when do I get to go back to being a pirate? This is the worst. <laughs> Why'd they put this in the game? I hate this. I hate Ubisoft. So, yeah. I'd like an Assassin's Creed where they are just a bunch of rabbits. Mm. A bunch of what? Rabbits. From Rayman, man. Raving rabbits. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> loves Rayman. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, it's good. Lots of experience. I'd like that. Um, if for me to get back on board, then they need to have uh, fucking ninjas. Ninjas. Some sort of Japanese theme would would be neato. I know that they have a mobile game. Yeah, in China. In China, yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's not what I want. I know. I know. I'm just saying they ha they're touching on it. Is all I'm getting at. They wasted that. Yeah, I would like to see a highly stylized, like very Japanese take on uh, sort of that samurai ninja battle. Because yeah. I mean, it's like cats and dogs. Like you want to see that unfold. Yeah, you know, and it just it matches I mean, that'd be perfectly. Perfect. Yeah, with the Templars and the Assassins, right? And the ninjas and the samurai. Yeah. There you go. Side note: I would love a new Tenchu game. Also, just Ooh. throwing that out there because yeah. I was talking to a, I was talking to, um, with a coworker about it. And I was telling them, like, Tenchu is one of my favorite games. It's an incredible game. It is, like, one of the first games where, like, stealth and, like, just that whole concept of, 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 of trying to complete the game without being detected and stuff. Yeah. So good. So good. I'd yeah. like more of that. More yeah. of that butt. <laughs> Give me some more. More butt. Uh, I think that's it. With, yeah. With, 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 are we all out? Are we all out? Are you oh. just, okay, I get what you're saying. Here we go with this. Okay. So, I think we touched on what we can touch on for the week. I'll touch on you. You feel good? Does everybody feel good about where we are? I think so. About who we are and what we've done? No. No? Yes. Okay. Then I think that we should review this beer, gentlemen. All right. Yeah. All right. It is the Hoptical Illusion from the Blue Point Brewing Company. Um, it's their IPA. Man, this really sounds familiar, dude. Are you sure we haven't done this before? We may have. I mean, this we sounds really familiar, man. I don't remember doing it. No? No. Well, let's review it. We can and update. it'd update be pretty fun if we did do it, and then we can compare our ratings if we did do it. Yeah. So, uh, you guys can start. Rock okay. Start. All right. Someone start. Some, please. 
I liked it. It's an IPA, but it wasn't that, um, you know, it wasn't that hoppy. I, I mean, I drank it pretty fast. So I have taste buds in my stomach. I didn't really taste it. So quickly I drank it. It was good, though. It was good. Okay. I, could, I, could, I, could, I, could, I could fuck with this. Fucks with it. You know what I'm saying? How fucks much do you fuck with it? Mm, I fuck with it about four bottle caps. Okay. Yeah, I kind of agree with you. It's it's good. I wouldn't call it great. Right. Um, yeah, I, I mean, just the fact that we've had so many great IPAs, I'm going to have to give this one a 3.5. Mm. What? Mm. Damn. 3.5. All right. It's above average, but... Dave? I'm going with a O. Yeah? Point. Yeah? Two five oh, six three. I hate you. Uh, you. <laughs> <That's> music. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I've had this beer so many times. I yeah, okay. Spoken at it before. Last yeah. time we had it on the show. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, no, I mean, yeah, it's good. I, uh, I've had better, but it's not bad. I'll drink it. There you go. Right on. Yeah. This has been the One Bear <laughs> Podcast for myself, Marco Dupa, Adam Obesius Rodriguez. Bye, weirdos. Sports with Dave Romero. Budweiser merged with Miller. Oh. You want to drop that bomb now? I said it before. During the outro? I know. Miley I Cyrus to naked. To All right. You're just going to Are we, are we just talking about disgusting things? T.I. is being born for Hillary. That's a juicy one. How much time do we have left? Not much, because it's been the one beer in podcast. Nice. (laughs) Uh, Drink delicious beer, everybody.